episode, I'll share my approach to shooting Machu Picchu. Autorama TV presents Exploring Photography with Mark Wallace. Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Exploring Photography right here on Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama. It's the camera store that has everything for photographers, videographers, and audio engineers. So check them out at adorama.com. Well, I'm hanging out here in Cusco, Peru. I just returned from an amazing trip to Machu Picchu, one of the most amazing places in the world. And I want to talk to you about how I made this image in this episode. Well, I have to say Machu Picchu was one of the most amazing experiences of my life. I went with my good friend Lex and we had a phenomenal day exploring this site. Now, one of the challenges of making this video was uh, Machu Picchu is a World Heritage Site and so we weren't allowed to shoot video there because you have to have special permits and all kinds of things that we didn't have. And so what we'll be doing in this video is I'll be sharing with you the principles of how I made my images using some of the stills that Lex took of me shooting and some of the stills that I took to sort of demonstrate what we were doing at Machu Picchu. Well, let's start by talking about the gear that I used. I used my Canon 5D Mark III camera and my Canon 16 to 35 millimeter f 2.8 L lens. I also shot some stuff with my 24 to 70 2.8 L lens, but I think I only took maybe one or two pictures with the 24 to 70. If I had it to do all over again, I think I would only bring my 16 to 35 millimeter lens. I used it all day long and it was terrific. The other thing I brought was my trusty Benro Travel Angel 2 carbon fiber tripod. Uh, you're, uh, there are a lot of places that you can't use a tripod in Machu Picchu and so you have to carry it around. And so this tripod is so light, it wasn't a big burden to do that. And I could just take it out and use it in the places that I could use a tripod. So it worked really, really well. And I was able to bring all of my gear up there in this. This is my Tenba, um, my shootout bag. It's a 24 liter bag. I was able to take my tripods, my video gear that we weren't able to use, all the lenses, the camera, everything right here in this bag. And it is awesome. I have to mention that it rained while we were there. And one of the great things about the Tenba bag, it's got a rain cover, so it made sure everything was protected. It worked out just great. Well, let's dive in and talk about how I created this image. I've got some pointers that you can use if you're going to Machu Picchu or some other site uh, that's very awesome. One of the most important things for capturing an image like this is to make sure that you shoot at the right time of day, and the right time of day is sunrise at the golden hour. We were up at four in the morning to catch a bus to get up to the mountain and hike, and uh, I looked at my images in Lightroom and I discovered that the amount of time I had to get that image from when we got there to the, when the light just went away was about 15 minutes. That was it. So get there early and get the shot as soon as you can because that light might not last very long. You can see in these images, here's the image that I shot right at golden hour and here's another image that I shot about 15 minutes later and you can see that the light is just flat and no good. So the right time of day makes a huge difference. One of the things about a site like Machu Picchu or Yellowstone or Niagara Falls or any place that thousands upon thousands of tourists visit every day is that crowds are inevitable. And so you really have to come with an extra dose of patience if you want to get that shot with no people in it. In fact, you can look at this shot and you can see if you look closely, there's a person smack dab in the middle of the shot. So I waited it out and sure enough, she moved out of the way and I was able to get the shot. And then 10 seconds later, boom, a lot of people were there. So that is one of the reasons you just have to be patient. And there's another reason that you want to get to a site like this really early because the crowds are a lot thinner. Another one of the things that you can do with a site like this is, you know, get that shot that everybody loves and then get some of the things that people don't normally see. For example, at Machu Picchu, I didn't know it's surrounded by some amazing mountains. And so we spent some time shooting those mountain ranges. As we hiked up to the Sun Gate, we found this amazing little park that had some kern, these little uh, mounds of rock that people left there. So I was able to shoot some of those and we even made our own little kern and left it as a monument to our visit. It was awesome. And then I also shot the interior of Machu Picchu and saw some things that I hadn't seen before. So make sure that you shoot things that aren't obvious. So after you get that first amazing shot, then shoot the small things and the details and you might be surprised at the amazing pictures that you get. Don't be afraid to shoot an unusual point of view. 
Now we hiked all the way up to this place called the Sun Gate, and it was quite a hike getting up there, but from that vantage point, I was able to shoot Machu Picchu in context. You can sort of see the big mountains. You can see how it's situated inside of this mountain range. Now, I don't like this photo as much as the closer image, but it really helps to establish context for people that haven't been there, and so explore unusual points of view. Once you shoot your images, don't be afraid to edit those images in post. I like to shoot raw. In fact, I always shoot raw, and that will allow you to sweeten up those photos. I took my image and I cropped it to a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. I warmed it up using my color temperature slider. Here is the difference, the before straight out of the camera shot and the shot that I edited. I love the edited version. It looks a lot more like what I saw with my eyes. The last tip I have for photographing a place like this is don't forget to enjoy the place that you're visiting. Don't get so caught up in the photography that you forget to really fully experience where you are. It might be a once in a lifetime opportunity and you don't wanna miss it because you're fiddling with your camera all day long. Well, I also wanna remind you that Adorama has some amazing photo contests. So maybe you've shot an image that's similar to this one. You can enter it into a contest and you could win some great prizes. So click the link and enter today. Well, thanks so much for joining me for this episode of Exploring Photography. I learned a lot by shooting Machu Picchu, and I hope some of my learning will help you when you get this experience as well. Well, don't forget, you can subscribe to Adorama TV absolutely free, so click the link and you won't miss a single episode. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you again next time. great looking prints at low cost, be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.